everything was so fast. I wish doing my chores would be this fast too. The storm made me look for shelter, and finally I found a cluster of bushes. Is anyone there? I didn't expect it, but someone replies to me. This beautiful cocker spaniel was inviting me to come inside. And would you look at that? Those puppies are so cute. So I came out with a brilliant idea. My mom's gonna love it. My school bag is now my improvised carrier pet, and my books will give them a cozy, warm place. And now everything looks perfect on my village. Join me as we head back home while this beautiful puppy by my side watches everything around us. You know I'm starving, but first I have a chore to do so I can give this amazing surprise to my mom. Well, the one surprised was me because now I have three little puppies. Would you like to have one? Oh wait, I have another brilliant idea. What if I brought home some birds from the park? Yo. Ever wondered how to create a character with AI that actually stays consistent across multiple scenes? No weird glitches, no random faces, just the same character every time. Well today I'm breaking down exactly how I did it, using ChatGPT and Runway Gen 4 Turbo, which is their latest model, and, as they say, their fastest and most efficient one. So we're going to put that to the test. Let's dive in. First, I asked ChatGPT to come up with ideas for how to create a consistent AI character and gave it the main concept of a 3D character. It came back with some really useful info that I used to build my prompts. Now pay close attention to this part. To keep a character consistent, your prompts have to include consistent traits. For example, if my character has platinum blonde hair or golden blonde hair or long wavy hair, pigtails, a bun, or a ponytail, you have to pick one and stick with it. It makes total sense. Consistency means describing your character the same way in every prompt. That goes for the eyes, face shape, head size, character style, outfit, age. And it even suggested I name the character. So I did. Her name is Luna. ChatGPT also recommended keeping the core description the same in each prompt, while only changing things like the outfit or pose. Next. I gave ChatGPT the traits I liked and asked it to generate the first prompt for the first scene. I made a few small tweaks and then figured it'd be smart to train ChatGPT using the official prompting guide from Runway. So I grabbed the link to the article, turned on the search feature in ChatGPT 4.0 and asked it to analyze the page. And boom, ChatGPT pulled in the info and even gave me new suggestions for my character. I thought, all right, this is working well, so then I hit ChatGPT with the idea for the story I had in my head and asked for 12 prompts based on it. Come with me to my runway dashboard and let's get to it. Click generate video and let's pick a name for this session. Now, as you can see, to generate a video, you can either upload an image or create one. In my last video, I created a story using images generated on Google Imagine 3, then uploaded them. But this time, I'm creating them from scratch. Just paste the prompt from ChatGPT and check it out. To be honest, it wasn't exactly what I imagined. Some were great, some not so much. But I decided to go with this last one. You'll see some settings next to the image. Pay close attention to the seed value. That's what you need to create consistent characters. Copy it and paste it where it says fixed seed. I tried the second prompt, and here's what I got. The results were similar to the one I picked before, but not quite consistent enough. Honestly, I generated a bunch of images and still didn't quite get what I wanted. Close, but not consistent. I'm sharing this to show you what it really takes to create a character that stays the same, until I finally found out the way. It's not super complicated though. 
it really comes down to two main things, the right prompt and the fixed seed. Let's break it down. Oh, and stay until the end because I'll show you some hilarious AI fails I came across while testing this. So here's the part that'll save you hours of trial and error. I trained ChatGPT using these key elements. Camera angle, character style, age, name, action, location, weather, hair details, facial features, clothing, accessories, location specifics, and the overall mood of the scene. That means every prompt you create should follow that same structure. Also, make sure to select a style reference on Runway's dashboard. For this example, I used 3D cartoon, and don't forget the fixed seed. I also noticed that setting the creative variation to zero helps reduce randomness, which is really useful when you want consistent results. And there you go, boys and girls. Just remember, AI can sometimes give you weird or unexpected results. Don't let it discourage you. Sometimes the mistakes are actually pretty funny. Now that we've got our images, several of them, it's time to turn them into videos. Click on video, and you'll see that Runway gives us a link to a prompting guide for the best video results. Let's check it out. Here's the main difference. While detailed prompts work great for images, for Gen 4 videos, they recommend keeping it simple. Focus on the essentials of motion in the scene. That means subject motion, camera motion, scene motion, and style descriptors. They also say to use positive phrasing. So instead of saying no movement, you'd say locked camera. And when you're describing action, go for specific physical actions instead of abstract ideas. For example, don't say a joyful greeting. Say the subject smiles and waves. Otherwise, the AI might do something totally random and you'll waste time. You don't need to describe the image again in the video prompt. Just focus on the motion. Also, avoid conversational prompts like you're chatting with ChatGPT. Just give clear, direct commands. And don't make prompts too complex. Your videos will only be 5 to 10 seconds long, so there's not enough time to pack in a bunch of actions. Pretty helpful stuff, right? If you want fast results, I recommend copying those links and training ChatGPT with the search feature so it understands Runway's prompting guidance. They even give you camera motion suggestions to help add that cinematic feel we all love. These tips can be used with other AI models too, but today we're sticking with Runway Gen 4 Turbo. Oh, and I asked ChatGPT to give me two prompt options per image so I could pick the best one. Once you've picked the image, paste the prompt. Make sure it's set to Gen 4 Turbo, 10 seconds long, 16 by 9 ratio. Look at how the prompt describes the subject, the subject's movement, and the camera movement. That's the formula I followed. And if your prompt feels too complicated, try a different version. You can switch up the camera angle or the subject's movement until you find the right balance. This is it, guys. Personally, I found that generating a bunch of videos at once is the best move because it usually takes a few tries to get what you really want. Alright, the final step is to pick the scenes you like and upscale them to 4K. That's one of my favorite features on Runway. I know there are other high quality options out there, but I honestly think this AI tool is one of the best. Then just download your videos, bring them into CapCut, add transitions, music, sound effects, and you're good to go. And if you're thinking about using voiceovers like mine, or want awesome sound effects and music, check out my affiliate links in the description. It supports the channel and helps me keep making more tutorials for you. So why would you want to create consistent characters with AI? Well, there are tons of reasons. You could start a faceless YouTube channel with an AI character. Could be 3D, anime, cartoon, the possibilities are endless. You can use them for YouTube Shorts, which I'll be posting soon. Instagram Reels, TikTok Trends, social media ads. You can even use them to teach kids manners or create your own comics. Let me know in the comments what you want to do with your consistent characters. Oh, and before I forget, Runway has an iOS app which is awesome for creating social media content. 
I'll be playing around with it soon, so if you want a tutorial on that, let me know in the comments. Now, what should you do with your fail generations? Well, I've seen some hilarious YouTube channels built around AI fails, and they're seriously entertaining. Those guys behind those faceless channels waste nothing, and they are just so cool. So I decided to make one video too. Now go grab some popcorn and check out Luna's Multiverse. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bum, 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 bum,